Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's Kaylin Alex. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe. And if you're returning, thank you so much for tuning in. So guys, this video, I am very excited about it because as you all know, and as you can see by the title, it's gonna be about denim, all things denim, um, my favorite, fabric i guess <laughs> i love me some denim you know some people go for like an all black look or a little black dress when they have nothing to wear i'm a denim on denim girl i'm gonna go get some denim and i know it's kind of controversy because most people find denim to be uncomfortable um and just not really like a go-to but for me it's a go-to like i love denim and this video for some reason in my mind i always like hear <laughs> That video of Nicki Minaj telling Safari, you're wearing a denim vest. And I'm like, that's the vibes. Filming this video, that's the vibes that we're giving today. So we ain't gonna chat about it. Let's just keep going. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of my favorite, favorite denim, um, favorite jeans, especially for us curvy girls. Some that I have found to be really good for us that fit in all the right places that are high waist, check have a little stretch, double check, and are still cute and flattering to the body. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Also, I'm gonna be sharing like, I guess these are, I don't know, this kind of, it kind of goes hand in hand with the trend that we're seeing with denim on denim. So some of the jeans that you'll see, I pair it with other denim items. So we'll just chat about it when we get to it. So the first pair of jeans that I'm gonna talk about are my favorite. Honestly, all of these are my favorite. I have been living in all of these jeans, so let's just start there. Um, but the first pair of jeans that I have are my Abercrombie jeans. I absolutely love these jeans. They fit in all the right places. They have stretch. They're, they come in an array of sizes and lengths, which we don't typically see a lot. And they don't have that gap in the back, if you know what I mean. So these are the Curve Love jeans i think they have like different styles in the curve love collection i have no complaints when it comes to this collection like amber crombie amber crombie did that one with this one i'm not even gonna lie to you they have really in my eyesight come with it when it comes to this curve love collection like i really have no complaints about it um this particular pair that i have have the slits on the hem which i think adds an extra flair i do want to diversify my little collection here and get a few other styles in the curve love but this one has been my favorite um i paired it with one of the looks was with this vest that I had, which is from a brand that I have not really shopped with in a very long time, um, Fashion Nova. <laughs> but I was looking for a vest like this and it popped up and I was like, let me just check out. So there's that, don't beat me up. Um, but I really did like the vest. I liked it because it has like a flair to it that could be like a, like it, it looks like it could be a top, but it's really, it's really a jacket, like it's a vest. Um, but I, of course, I'm gonna wear it different ways. As you can see, I'm wearing it closed here as like a top. I kind of just tucked the bottom because it does look more like a jacket at the bottom. So I just tucked it a little bit um, and wore like a shirt. I opened it up kind of like how I'm wearing it today so that it looks like a V-neck style top, but it's a jacket. And then of course you can wear it open as the um, vest style that it is and carry on about your day with a little bralette how i have underneath or as it gets cooler and colder you can definitely put on a long sleeve top or a mesh top under it would look super cute with it buttoned up or open um the marine sear tops would pop underneath honestly you, it, you can play around what goes underneath and how you wear it but i like this one because it looked more like a top when it's closed and i like the pockets that are on the front so that's a little bit about the jacket um and of course pair with these pants it just it looks like a look the next pair of jeans are a pair that i have been really loving let me just go ahead and put this disclaimer out there all of these jeans that i'm sharing have been in heavy rotation like they are my favorite favorite jeans at the moment so let's just i'm gonna go ahead and get that out of the way so i don't keep saying these are my favorite all of these have been in heavy rotation <laughs> so this particular pair is from mango and they kind of like touch on two trends as well these are denim cargo pants 
when I tell y'all these are so comfortable, these are literally the most comfortable jeans I would say that I own. I, I'm, I'm going to venture to say that I own. <laughs> they have so much like room in them and I guess because they are that cargo style, it makes them extremely comfortable. And the leg is like a straight leg so... <sighs> You could literally live in these jeans. I'm not even gonna lie to you. You can wear, I wear these all day and don't feel like I'm wearing jeans. Is that good? And the, the jean is like a soft material. So it's not super stiff. It's more relaxed, which is what I like and what I prefer when it comes to jeans. Um, now these, I would say to size up at least one size, maybe two. I did get these when I was newly postpartum. And then I had to get them taken in, like altered. So these have been altered. I altered them in the waist as I do all of my jeans. Most of these jeans, actually all of these jeans with the exception of the Abercrombie ones, I got altered in the waist, um, which is nothing new. But this particular pair I got when I was newly postpartum and had them altered in the waist. And then now they're a bit big in the waist and the bottom area. So I'm going to have to repurchase these for my size now, which is what I was about what I was um, before getting pregnant. So just that disclaimer as well, that these look a little bit more relaxed. But I would say if you were to get your size at least one to two sizes up, you would be perfect in these again i have no complaints even when i wash them they didn't draw up a lot i could still put them on and they still you know as jeans as you wear them throughout the day they relax a bit these were no different and honestly 10 out of 10 highly recommend i do know that they come in a few different washes i can't remember exactly which ones but of course they'll be linked down below so that you can like see what works best for you Another thing that I liked about this particular pair is that they were high waist and truly high waist and not just like, you know, kind of high and, and it's really like a mid to low. <laughs> These were actually high waist and they um, had a flattering look on them. Not too many pockets. The length was just right. So that was another reason why I was extremely drawn to this pair of cargo pants and like that relaxed jean style. The next pair of jeans I have are from H&M. Now I will have the exact names of these down below but this pair is a bit more wide leg or a bit more I believe they call this like a mom jean like a relaxed mom jean style is fitted at the top so they are high waist um and then they kind of flare out at the bottom but it's not a flare it's a straight leg it's just look a wider straight leg if that makes sense I love the rips it makes it super playful and a little bit more casual but it can still be dressed up because the rips aren't super extreme and then they are very minimal I just feel like it adds a little extraness to the jeans. But I like that these jeans are also a good length. And they are too high waist. But they still are straight and give you that relaxed look. Which I find it to be so difficult for me to find high waist jeans that still give that relaxed fit of like how a low rise jean would work. And still be cute. Especially as someone who is a little bit more curvier, it's hard for me. And I find that these do that. Although they are high waist and kind of fitted at the high waist, it still isn't like super tight where they look like skinny jeans. Like, I'm here for the look. This was another pair, and I'm, I'm going to mention two more pairs that I had the same issue that I bought when I was newly postpartum and now have gotten a little bit bigger. So when it comes to sizing for these, I'm going to suggest that you size up one or two maybe two sizes max because what i find that in wearing these for certain as the day as you wear them throughout the day they relax a little bit and if you go up too big of a size they're gonna get super baggy not super baggy but they're just not gonna be the fit that we're going for here <laughs> It's not going to be that relaxed fit. It's going to look more baggy. Now, by all means, if that's the look that you prefer, go for it, okay? But if you want something that is a little relaxed but still fitted, which is what I wanted, I would suggest going up two sizes, about two sizes. One to two, depending on what you like. No more than that because you're going to run into the issue that I did. <laughs> and now I have to repurchase these jeans because throughout the day, I don't like the way that they really look. By the end of the day, I'm over it. The next pair is another pair of H&M jeans. 
I have really been loving H&M jeans. Like, they've been doing your girl right. These are a pair that I probably wear every two days. Like, I, as you can tell by the rips that are in the jeans, they've been washed, honey. Like, I have been wearing these. And I feel like because of the rips, I love a ripped pair of jeans. They're comfortable and they are the perfect, like, length. They're not a full, like, long length, but they're not super cropped. It's like just right and they're high ways that stretch. I don't know. They're just comfortable to me and easy to wear like they can wear. I can wear them with so many different things. Um, for instance, here I paired them with a denim top, which is very on trend for right now. Denim on denim. I think this top is actually from Target from like three years ago, four years ago. I don't know many many years ago I'm pretty sure they probably have something similar or this exact top because this is a Target brand. Um, it'll be linked down below. But very on brand, very on trend, denim on denim. This is my go-to, okay? The next pair of jeans are what? H&M? <laughs> H&M has had some of my favorite jeans because they just been doing a thing and they're affordable. Like, I'm just here for it. So these are the 90s jeans. The, I think they're called the 90s baggy jeans. When I tell y'all, these are like the jeans that I have been looking for for so long that fit properly, have that clean, light blue, like real denim look to them, but I cannot wear them right now. This was a pair that I literally bought newly postpartum because I was trying to like buy clothes that were like my size at that time and I just didn't want to be uncomfortable. So I was like purchasing for then. Well, a few months later, here we are. I cannot fit it. And these, I feel like I took the biggest L with these because they don't fit at all. Like, buttoning in, I, I literally can roll them down. I have to roll them down to get a fit. And I was like, that's not the vibe here. Like, I these are not joggers. Like, we're, I'm not going to be rolling my, no, we're not doing it. <laughs> We're not doing it. And I was so disappointed because this was actually one of the pairs that I was most excited about because they are truly a straight leg pants. They're their relaxed fit, that 90s baggy relaxed denim. Like they're that jean. And I was so excited about them. I love them when I can fit them. I'll pop up the pictures of the uh, jeans when I could fit them. Um, and they were just amazing. Honestly, I feel like I went up too many sizes. I think at that time, um, I went up three sizes because I was like, I don't know. And I knew that I was going to get the, the waist altered anyway, um, which I did. But the bottom was still a bit loose even then. And so when I got them altered, I was like, OK, maybe this will bring it in. It brought it in a little bit, but even then they were still too big. So I would recommend going up only two sizes if that's what you feel like you may need. Other than that, you're going to be good. You may even be able to get your true size in these because they're already baggy. You know what I mean? They're not um, They're not fitted. They're already baggy, so you're already going to have that loose look. Okay. True to size, two sizes max. That's what I'm going to say. Two sizes max here, um, and you'll be fine. But these were perfect. These were literally perfect. The next pair of pants are kind of like pants, jeans. They're from Frame. I love these. And during my postpartum time, I was looking forward to getting into a few of my pieces or items. And this pair of pants was one of them. They're from Frame. They're like that mock croc style. You guys saw me post the picture wearing these um, like two weeks ago. I love these jeans so much. They have stretch in them. I love that my croc look, but they are jeans. They are jeans and they're comfortable jeans. I love the length on them. Um, and typically I don't really find frame jeans to like be all that flattering, especially because I prefer a high waist and the, their jeans usually aren't as high waist as I would like, but these work and these work amazingly. I love it. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. The last item that I'm gonna mention is a denim jumpsuit. Denim on denim, a denim jumpsuit, like, I'm just here for it. I can never remember the name of the brand, but I just love the way this one fits because it has stretch all the way through. Even when I was pregnant, I was able to wear this jumpsuit, which is kind of like crazy because I don't really know how, but somehow it worked and even postpartum, me here today, back in my 
pre-partum <laughs> time, I could still fit this. I just love it. It's so versatile. I love that it can be rolled up on the sleeves at the hem at the bottom of it. It can be worn like a few different ways. You can button it all the way up or unbutton it a little bit. It has stretch on it. Of course, you can add a belt if that's your vibe or, you know, like um, brooches or something like that to like add a little spice. You can never go wrong with a jumpsuit or a denim jumpsuit specifically like it's just the vibe. And this one has more of that workers, construction worker vibe to it to me because of the way that it's designed. I just love it. I'm here for it. I love the way it looks, but it's still a little bit feminine. It's perfect. Highly recommend it. I don't know if I can find this exact one, but I do have know a few that I'm going to recommend that are very similar to this. So I have that link down below for you guys. So guys, that is going to be it for this video. Those are all of my recommendations for my current, favorite, most flattering jeans and denim items that is perfect for right now, very on trend. And for us curvy girls that are curvy girl friendly because I find it so difficult when it comes to getting relaxed, high waist, comfortable, straight leg jeans. Now I am on a search because I want to compile like a little like list, almost like a book, <laughs> like a directory for us because it's hard to find those type of jeans that are straight leg, the perfect denim, high waist so we're not pulling our pants up every time we sit down and stand up. Um, I'm on a quest to finding like a bunch of different ones so that I can like compile a big list and we'll go from there. So this was the ones that are more straight relax i do have a previous video that i did maybe like two years ago it's been a while a few years ago that i did that i still recommend those jeans those were skinny jeans so i'll like link that video down below because i still highly recommend those jeans i wear those jeans even now I can fit them again, so I'm wearing them even now. Um, and I still highly recommend them. So I'll link that video down below. Um, don't forget to like, drop a nice comment down below, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get a notification when I post again. And I will see you in the next video.